Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the iVolt stand. Um, we've got a practical demonstration for you this afternoon of some energy saving and um, we've got uh, some demonstration of one of the iVolt units. My name is Richard Brown, I'm the electronics uh, design engineer from, uh, for iVolt and for Solitech, the parent company. Uh, we'll look at some of the unique features of the iVolt system and uh, a few conclusions on how it can save you energy uh, in particular uh, situations. First of all, what is uh, voltage optimization and how does the iVolt work? Um, well, in, in the UK, electricity is supplied generally to the sites at 240 volts. Um, typical average is about 242. Uh, but a lot of the equipment on the site will quite happily work at a lower voltage, and in fact was designed to work at a lower voltage, particularly with the European uh, legislation. And uh, so by supplying it with higher voltage, you're very often uh, using more electricity, higher wattage consumption, um, which apart from costing you more, also uh, heats the equipment, the lamp uh, temperature is higher, the motor temperatures are higher and this actually reduces the lifetime of the equipment. Um, so voltage optimization aims to reduce that voltage down to uh, the correct uh, optimized voltage level, um, prolonging the life of the equipment and uh, reducing the electricity bill in the process. If you look at the graph on the screen, the left hand third there represents perhaps the typical uh, voltage incoming to a, a building in the UK. It's around the 240 volts uh, and it fluctuates throughout the day or throughout the week. What you can do is you can use a fixed ratio transformer to set that voltage down, maybe 6 or 8 percent, uh, and that's represented by the middle section of the curve there um, with, the, uh, with the lower black line along here. So that is giving you energy saving. Um, but one of the problems with that is that during the low points of the voltage supply you can then get under voltage or brownout conditions on your site and that can cause problems with some of the equipment that would be running there and uh, reliability issues or, or performance issues. It also means that some of the time you're not saving as much energy as you could be um, because you're only reducing it by a certain amount. So what the voltage optimizer does, um, the iVolt, uh, this is a fully automatic uh, adjustable unit and automatically regulates the voltage uh, so as to maintain 220 volts or whatever voltage we choose uh, at a constant level regardless of the input voltage. This means that uh, you now get two benefits. One is that you're maximizing the energy savings all the time uh, and the second is you've, you've now removed the risk of brownouts. Uh, so you get uh, continuous good performance of all your load equipment. That sort of uh, performance is only attainable with an adjustable voltage optimizer uh, and a fully automatic one, just as the iVolt is. Okay, let's try some, uh, some practical tests then. We've got various different loads here, uh, lighting and other things that you may get on, on various uh, sites throughout the UK. And we can test to see how much energy can be saved on them by reducing the voltage. The diagram here shows the sort of setup we've got with the variable AC supply. Voltage and wattage uh, measurements uh, performed by this fluke meter and then the load as well. We've got various loads turned on here. Um, we've got the low voltage lighting here. This has got electronic ballast. Um, there's traditional transformers as well. This is a more up-to-date electronic ballast. And these are used a lot in retail because they give very good colour rendition to merchandise. Um, and uh, you see these in many different forms in shops, for example. So we've got the fluke meter, which we can bring up on the screen here. Oops. That's here. So it's giving us a voltage reading along the bottom there, showing 244 volts at the moment, and wattage up the top of 145 watts. So that's 145 watts being consumed by that at the moment. I've got a simple spreadsheet here. And um, so we put 145 watts in here when we're running at about 245 volts. If we now turn the voltage down, um, you can see that's, no you can't. You can see the voltage there now, about 221 uh, on the bottom there. And uh, now we can see it's only consuming 123 watts. 
So if we go back to our spreadsheet, 123 watts. That was supposed to be 145, wasn't it? Um, so we've got a saving of 15% now on, on the energy consumed by these low voltage track lights because we've reduced the voltage from 245 down to 220 volts. Um, other typical lighting, maybe you've got switch start fluorescent. Um, so let's turn the low voltage off. And then we've got these traditional T8 tubes that are run from a switch start ballast. Um, again, very common in a lot of sites. Uh, particularly older sites. So let's again do the same sort of experiment with this. So if we supply it with uh, 245 volts and we can see that it's consuming off the top line there 87 watts. So if we find a spreadsheet for this we're looking at 87 watts and then we want to see what it will consume at the lower voltage. Down there at uh, 220 volts, we can now see the top line is about 74, 75 watts. Sorry. Having trouble with my spreadsheet today. So yes, yeah, 75 watts now, so that's saving us 13 to 14 percent of the energy from that type of T8 switch start uh, light. So there's a number of different uh, types of load and that different, different loads give different savings for the same voltage drop. For example, LED lighting, um, that really doesn't give you any saving, maybe 1% at most. So that's not very good for uh, voltage optimization. Uh, compressors, air handling units usually do give you quite good saving. Although if there's uh, VSD drives, uh, then they give very little. So it's important that you have a site survey to evaluate the amount of savings that you can get on a particular site, uh, including voltage logging, um, so we can evaluate how much can be saved and um, what sort of return on the investment that you're likely to get. Okay, so that's the practical demonstration and if you'd like to come and look at this afterwards, we can try different loads and do different tests depending on which ones you'd like to uh, to look at. One of the big problems when you install an iVolt or indeed you install any other voltage or energy saving equipment in a particular site is knowing how much energy you are now saving as a result of that initiative. Um, the uh, the iVolt has a unique and, and patented technology for actually measuring the savings in real time. So it puts itself out of optimization and into optimization uh, the regular point and takes measurements accordingly of the actual energy being consumed. So this now takes into account all the other factors of varying supply voltage, uh, different weather conditions, different production levels or footfall levels, all of that is taken into account and you're actually measuring the real energy that you're saving at the time. So iVolt has the IRT uh, system that does this uh, and that's a very useful tool for energy managers to see what their investment is paying back. That data can be downloaded through the USB socket on the front of a unit or it can be transmitted over the internet uh, via the GPRS system. You can log into our cloud system on the internet through any regular web browser, um, look at your sites and see how much you're saving and a range of other data as well. One of the advantages also of the interface, either through the cloud or through the USB, is that you can adjust the voltage at which you want the, vo the uh, instrument to optimise. Some sites um, you can reduce the voltage further and get further savings. Other sites, some equipment is more sensitive and you can't reduce it so much. So with other fixed systems you have to turn the power off, change settings, turn the power back on if you want to make any such adjustments. And that's quite a, a headache to do that. Whereas with this system, it's programmable through the, so the, the USB socket or over the uh, GPRS system um, and is a completely seamless uh, way of adjusting the voltage level to give you optimum savings. It's a fully automatic uh, variable system, so it gives you the benefits of maximum savings with no risk of brownouts. It's fully solid state, no moving parts in it. 
so it has good reliability and it's all designed within the UK. We have a design office uh, near Slough and Heathrow where we have all the engineers to design the different aspects of the system um, and that means also that if you have particular custom requirements we can consider those as well. Because it's a regulating system um, it means that the voltage out of each phase is regulated uh, to your required voltage and that gives you the benefit of uh, phase voltage balancing which again can provide uh, energy saving and better running in uh, three phase motors particularly. So if you'd like to discuss uh, your application or if you have further questions we've got various iVolt staff available and we'll be pleased to uh, book a site survey or hand out literature to you. Thank you very much.